use the annihilator method to find all solutions of a linear ODE, y double prime minus y equals sine of 2x. Now, before we can use the annihilator method, we have to make sure that it applies to this problem. So we need to check two things. First, if we replace sine of 2x with a zero, okay, we're taking the homogeneous equation, I want that to be a linear ODE with constant coefficients. That's gonna be the case here. Okay, for the y's, all we're doing is taking derivatives, so that's gonna give us linear, and then the coefficients are all gonna be constant. So there's no functions of x out here, they're just gonna be numbers. Second thing we need to check, for sine of 2x, we wanna know if that's a solution of a linear ODE with constant coefficients. So this is gonna be a solution of y double prime plus four y equals zero. So that's gonna pan out also. Now, how do we proceed? First step, we find the homogeneous part of our general solution. So to do that, we replace sine of two x with zero, and then we solve. Characteristic polynomial here is gonna be r squared minus one. So the roots are r equal to plus minus one. And our homogeneous part is gonna be a e to the x, plus b e to the minus x. So once I have a particular solution, we'll get all solutions by adding that to this term here. Now, to get a particular solution, we're gonna take a look at b of x equal to sine of two x. Okay, we just know that that's gonna be a solution of y double prime plus four y equals zero. Characteristic polynomial there is gonna be r squared plus four. For the annihilator method, we check and see if there are any common factors. So there's no common factors for r squared plus four with r squared minus one. So our particular solution then is gonna live in the solution space for y double prime plus four y equals zero. So that means our particular solution is gonna be the form c cosine two x plus d sine of two x. Take our yp, we put in the original equation, solve for c and d. Now, we proceed, so we'll take first derivative, second derivative, and then take the difference of y double prime and y. What comes out, we're gonna have, okay, to solve this, I got two ways to go. First, I can match up cosines, match up sines, and then see what the coefficients give me. So if we do that, note here, I have minus five c cosine. There's no cosine here, so that means there's a zero in front of it. That means minus 5c is equal to zero, or c is zero. Then for the signs, I have minus 5d is equal to one, so it's gonna say d is equal to minus one fifth. All right, if you want something more concrete, you pick points carefully. So first, I can let x be equal to zero. Cosine is zero is one, sine is zero is zero, so we're just gonna have minus 5c is zero as before. Then, if I wanna get things to switch. So I'd want cosine to be zero and sine to be equal to one. I'll use x equal to pi over four. Multiplying by two is gonna turn that into pi halves, and then we can work with that. So that'll give me, okay, here we get zero, and then I have minus five d is equal to one. Again, we get d equal to minus one fifth. So my general solution is gonna be, take our homogeneous solution here, and then we add on our particular solution here. Of course, I wanna check my particular solution, so what do I do? We're just gonna take this part, put it back into the original equation. Now, if I take two derivatives of this, okay, it's gonna be chain rule twice, so sine will go to cosine, cosine's gonna to go to minus sine, so it's gonna turn this minus to a plus, and then them two chain rules are gonna bring out a two and another two to give me a four fifths. So plus four fifths sine of two x, we're gonna subtract off one of these so it's just gonna be adding a one-fifth sine of two x, and then you notice what comes out is gonna be sine of two x as promised. So our check works.